So recently, DICE put out a new trailer for their newest specialists for Battlefield 2042, a system that has been more than a little bit controversial for the Battlefield community, especially after we got to use it and play with them in the beta. A lot of people were really unhappy with the way that the specialists played out, and myself included. And so today I really wanted to talk about my thoughts on the beta, what I thought about with this new specialist trailer, and what I overall think about what this game is going to be like going forward. So well, let's start off with a little bit at the beginning. Uh, Battlefield has been in a little bit of a weird place for the last few years. Battlefield 5 got off on a really rocky start with their advertising campaign all those years ago, if you guys remember that. And then they kind of floundered about for a little bit, and we haven't really had a Battlefield experience that has felt anything like Battlefield 4 almost for a decade now. However, thankfully, we are finally getting, or we were in theory getting that, with the return of form with Battlefield 2042. They released an absolutely amazing set of trailers, and all of the hype around this game was exploding, especially with the addition of what was called Battlefield Portal, which was going to be this kind of sandbox that allowed everybody to play the game the way that they wanted to with tons of new, awesome, custom features and additions that you could make whatever kind of wild and wacky Battlefield game you really wanted. So, needless to say, uh, after we had been given all these play tools and after we saw these amazing trailers, we were all really excited for what Battlefield 2042 was going to bring about. However, now, a few weeks after the beta has dropped and DICE has just released their newest trailer, I kind of wanted to throw my own two cents into the ring as well to join the masses and talk about what I think is going on with Battlefield 2042 and if I think this game is going to be any good. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So, starting off, the Battlefield beta kind of got off to a little bit of a weird start. They showed off right at the get-go the only game type that you could really play, which was Typical Conquest, uh, and then they showed off the other two uh, game modes that were immediately lacking, because it was just the beta and of course it wasn't in the game. Now, they say at the start that Battlefield 2042's most recent build is one that is months old, but you know what, I don't care. And I don't actually believe it. Every single time a beta goes horribly, we hear that, oh, well, it's an older build, and so we don't have to worry about what it's going to look like at the final product. But time and time again, it turns out that these betas are, in fact, where the game generally is standing. Do you guys remember how bad Battlefield 4 was when it launched? Yeah, it looks like we're getting a little bit more of that. And we see this with so many other games throughout the industry. The term beta is such a pointless term these days because it acts as little more than a tool for marketing. If this was really a beta, this would have come out three, four, five months before the game actually came out so that they could look at the feedback as to what was going on and then they could determine how much time they needed to actually go back to the drawing board and make repairs. I am so positively tired of the game industry always saying that these glorified demos are betas because they're not. And if it was a beta, then why the hell would you give us a build that was already a few months old if everything in it was already fixed? So you know what? I'm probably going to call bullshit on that. It likely was not an old build. It was likely the build that exists for the game as it stands. I'm not falling for shit after Cyberpunk 2077 anymore. Fuck that noise. So that little rant over, uh, let's get into the actual gameplay and presentation. So once you get past all of the getting your graphical settings set up, right, after you are finished getting everything done and good to go with your uh, menus and everything, you are thrown straight into the action into a game of Conquest. And right from the start, the game looks good. It does have this little funny filter going on with it. Uh, and like it's got like this bluish hue kind of going on, which looks a little weird, but okay, fine, whatever, I'll go with it. Uh, the overall presentation of the map is good. It definitely can fit 128 players, and one of the things that was awesome was how I noticed that there were little tiny firefights going on all over the map as a result of having the larger player count and having many of the individual objectives perpendicular with each other or, you know, parallel or wherever, and they... It, engage, it encourages engagement, and that's good. So overall, I like the detail of the worlds, I like the detail of the size. Uh, however, at the same time, there's something really weird going on with the graphics. It was kind of fuzzy and ugly and muddy. Uh, while the layout and presentation of the game looked fine, the actual overall picture quality had this weird fuzziness to it. I can't exactly explain like 
what it was, but if you all have played the beta, then maybe you know what I'm talking about. I tried fiddling with the settings, but something about the game visually did not look nearly as crisp between Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 2042, which is really odd because, you know, we love to slam Battlefield 5 for what it did, but one thing that it did nail was its presentation and its sound design and its graphics, and that's something that DICE has always excelled in. So I'm not really sure what happened with Battlefield 2042, but it just is not at the same caliber as the older Battlefield games, and I'm not entirely certain as to why that is. Going into the rest of the presentation, the sound is another thing that I actually have to criticize. I don't want to do this, but I'm not actually all that impressed with Battlefield 2042 overall. In fact, this game is kind of lackluster right now for me. Uh, sound design is severely lacking. I even put on war tapes, and my guns don't sound nearly impressive as they did in past games. The amount of explosions and the amount of chaos that sounds like should be going on within the battle is absolutely lacking. And I'll actually put a clip here between what it sounds like in Battlefield 5 And what it sounds like in Battlefield 2042. You'll notice that in the main stages of combat, the sound design in 2042 just feels so muted, it feels so soft, and that used to be DICE's big thing. Everything that made DICE stand out seems to be lacking for some reason, and I no one can really put a finger onto why that is. The character designs also are incredibly boring. Right, you have these like five specialists that they've showed off. I think there's gonna be a total of, I don't know how many, I don't know how many there's gonna be, but they look boring. And I don't know what it was that they were looking to achieve with the specialist system, but they all look very dull and very lame. And again, I have to ask, why are they going this route? Actually, I have an answer as to why I think they're going this route. And that reason is microtransactions. Because of course, why wouldn't it be? Look at Apex Legends or any of the other games that are out and you can see that the thing that they're aiming to likely do with these characters is to give them a bunch of different skins with a bunch of different gun types that you can buy in store and they think that that is going to sell way more for bundles of $20 or so than if you just unlock individual skins through actually playing the game. I will bet you that that is the reason why they are doing it and mark my words that is exactly what we're going to see in their cash shop this time around. I'm certain of it and that's a shame because well what was interesting was that battlefield 5 had actually done a very good job with their own character design and they also had a cash shop that allowed you to pay however much money you wanted to get a bunch of different skins for these characters or they were different outfits and that allowed you to actually express yourself in a number of different ways it's ironic i never thought that i was going to be praising battlefield 5 as being like the new standard that we should hit with a Battlefield game, especially considering that it was kind of awful, 
at least at the beginning, but it still did a lot right. It did a very good job with its destruction, it did a very good job with its sound design, it did a very good job with the character customization as well, despite the controversy that kind of existed around that. The idea of being able to customize your soldier with a bunch of different outfits and whatnot, that's great! That's great! I don't think that anybody really was complaining about it, they were just complaining about the way that it was presented within Battlefield. So, that DICE decided to go with this system instead is a little disappointing. And not only cosmetically does it look stupid, but in the gameplay department, it also looks pretty bad. Uh, I'm jumping around a little bit, but let's get into gameplay. Starting with the specialists then, the gameplay for the specialists is inherently going to be a little broken. And it also encourages a type of gameplay that is completely different from that of previous Battlefield games. So with specialists, you can kind of kit yourself to be not necessarily a one-man army, but self-sufficient. And one of the things that made Battlefield feel like Battlefield was that the need of squads were always there, because you always had someone that you had to rely on for something. You had to rely on your support for ammunition, you had to rely on your medic for a med pack, you had to rely on your recon to scout out enemy positions and tell you where things were so that you had a better lay of the battlefield, and you had to count on your engineer to provide you with rocket launchers that were going to destroy any kind of enemy armor that rolls around. But the way that they decided to design the game in 2042 is these specialists have their own kind of dumb hero-esque abilities, almost making it like a massive hero shooter. And then you can choose whatever weapon that you want, whenever you want, and then you can customize that loadout in any way that you want, and you can give yourself any toolkit that you want. It just, it doesn't encourage a Battlefield style of gameplay. Instead, what it is encouraging is for you to go off on your own, run and gun, and not really coordinate, and that's exactly what happened with all of my playthrough experiences of the 2042 beta. The next 10, nobody was working together, there was no communication whatsoever, and the only time that I got it was when I was playing with my friends, and even then, we were just kind of running and gunning, and just telling each other when we killed somebody. But there is no real inherent need for team coordination, there is no reliance on one another outside of just ensuring that we got our kills. And that's just not what Battlefield had ever been about, and it's real shame that they took this tried and true formula and they decided that they wanted to just shatter it simply for, I don't know, um, this weird new marketing like shtick probably that EA thinks is going to go great right with these new specialists. It's a shame that they went down that road, they didn't need to go down that road, uh, and yeah, that's really all that I have to say about that. The specialists absolutely suck. Moving on to the rest of the gameplay, uh, the helicopters also perform kind of awkwardly compared to la past titles. You used to be able to accelerate and decelerate, now you just go higher or lower, and helicopters seem to just kind of have the same speed regardless of how far you dip it. I don't know why they thought they needed to change the controls on that, but that also doesn't go great. Uh, the gunplay is very fast and responsive, but again, the way that the gunplay works, there's a snappiness to it that I would expect more out of a Call of Duty game, and when you combine that with the specialists again, you are removing again the sense of teamwork and the sense of an actual battle going on and instead it just is a lot more running and gunning. You're not really pinned as much, you're not really trying to get flanking maneuvers around somebody, you're just kind of running blindly forward and just shooting anything that I would say doesn't look like you, but again they all look like you because there's only like a total of 10 specialists in this entire game and there's no way to tell them apart. It's ridiculous, it's awful. What else? is about this game. The hit detection also currently is, I think, pretty chop. Uh, I don't think that I suck as much as I... I don't normally suck this much in Battlefield games, and I think the reason why I'm sucking so much right now is because the, like, weird hit detection just is not there. There's a lot of stuff that just doesn't feel right about this game, and I think that this game has so much work that it still needs to go through before it's going to be able to see the light of day. I would advise that DICE really take into consideration what their community is talking about here, because otherwise they're going to have another Battlefield 5 launch on their hands. They're going to have another mass group of people just not buy the game because it's just not fun. And that's a shame, because ironically Battlefield 5 actually turned out to be a pretty decent game at the very end of the day, but nobody really cares about it anymore. And I think that Battlefield 2042 is going to suffer that same fate. 
where it is going to start off very weak, nobody's going to care about it really whatsoever, and then maybe down the line they'll fix it, but then by that point it will have lost all relevance and Battlefield just won't matter. I really think that this is like DICE's last chance to really impress everybody, and while they started off strong, they ain't there now. So. Anyway, that's really my two cents, I think, on everything regarding this Battlefield. They just released a new trailer actually today in the process of me making this video, so I'm not going to sit here and prattle on. Uh, the, the vibe and feel and setting of Battlefield 2042 feels like it's kind of in this way of trying to win everybody back over with this wild, crazy, over-the-top nature where they just threw realism out the window and they're just doubling down on the wackiness that you could do in Battlefield, which is cool and fun, but... Uh, maybe that's a subject for another video about what I think on that. Uh, anyway, guys, that'll be it. This is Marshall here from AGNL signing out. Thank you for tuning in, and you all have a good one.